Hale, Mr. Sturgis, Ms. Sturgis that are here. And I tell you what, if you like the first part, you're going to love the second part. We've, uh, somebody said, oh boy, you better buckle that seatbelt. That's right. <laughs> Mr. Sturgis is our regional vice president, as you probably, some of you heard earlier. He's been around a long time. He's been a personal friend of mine ever since I've been in the business. He has never, and he didn't make any financial gain off me as far as an organization goes. I'm not in his organization, but he has helped me just to kind of let you know how prepaid legal works, and I'm sure he's going to talk about it. We've got a great system. I'm a product of that system. My sponsor is up in Utah, and I got sponsored after a, after a, uh, com a convention. They went back to Utah that same morning, about two hours later. I had two pieces of pink slip in my hand. One from the associate agreement, one from the uh, membership. And when you get pink slips, that's not really fun. You know, pink slips don't remind you of anything good. Yeah. They called me that afternoon and told me where to plug in. One of the things I plugged into was here in the meetings here, the trainings here. And then I went over to Oklahoma City and got plugged in with Mr. Sturgeon at Sturgis. And he had, and his family and his team have been a mentor to me. And I know that they're going to be a mentor to you today, too. So you're in for a great treat. So please help me welcome back up to the front of the room that's going to do some awesome training for you. He's a platinum executive director, $100,000 ringer, and a regional vice president of Oklahoma, Mr. Eddie Sturgis. Okay, guys, let me tell you something. 
this is the part of the business that I like because uh, the thing that I like is I like to see people move forward and move ahead. And I like to see people fully take advantage of the prepaid legal opportunity. It's amazing to me that people come in and they just barely scratch the surface. They don't learn the business. They don't, they don't go to training. They don't go to briefing. They don't go to court training. They don't go to APT. don't go to Super Saturday. A million dollar income is right here within reach. And they barely scratch the surface and they quit and move on to something else and say it didn't work. Have you ever seen people like that? So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you uh, $1,000 a month is still serious business. Don't you agree? Yes. Here's a statistic. In network marketing, and I've been in the industry for about 30 years, uh, I've been a success at every company I've ever been involved in. In fact, whatever the top position is, I'm going to be there within a year. And my wife has seen me do it with company after company. But the problem was, most of those companies was not worthy of my effort. Most of them went out of business. Most of them, they were privately held companies. They changed the compensation plan. They changed the product. And I couldn't really get ahead. Prepaid legal was the only business that I ever quit my job for, my full-time job, because I had so much confidence in the company and the compensation plan. I never, never would have done that otherwise. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to make $1,000 a month passive income. Passive residual income. How many of y'all want to hear that? Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah. And then we're going to go from this, and then I'm going to show you how to make the big money, the big bucks. Because a lot of you guys don't know, okay, you're in prepaid legal, you've been around for a year or two, but you don't really know exactly what to do yet. You, you have to settle in on a routine. I'm going to show you a routine that will practically guarantee success. If you're a human being, how many of y'all thought about it? <laughs> okay, if you're a human being, you're practically guaranteed to success in prepaid legal, part-time, spare-time, with little or no team. It's true. And I know most of y'all qualify. So let's, let's talk about how to make $1,000 passive <coughs> income. And this can't happen anywhere other than prepaid legal. First of all, uh, it's called how to make $1,000 passive income in prepaid legal, uh, money on the table, or you could call this uh, where the money at. <laughs> Depends on what side of town you come from. <laughs> okay. A lot of y'all heard me talk about Robert Kiyosaki. I was in the audience in 2003. I don't know if you were there yet. Or not. You weren't. Wendy was there in Oklahoma City. This man, great, I mean, this guy has, stays on the New York bestseller list longer than anybody. Month after month after month, even a year on one of his books, he wrote Rich Dad Poor Dad. Here's what he said about our company. Now he's not talking about any other, he's talking about prepaid legal. He said, yours is the best compensation plan I've ever seen. Wealth potential technically in prepaid legal is technically unlimited. We have produced 118 millionaires from scratch. One of my mentors, Mary Kay Ash. Y'all know who she is? She came up with Mary Kay, uh, great, great lady before she died. And uh, Mary Kay uh, was a company that provided wealth for a lot of ladies. But Mary Kay, last year, Prepaid Legal did almost a half a billion dollars, worth almost $500 million in the business. I was reading a book about Mary Kay and how she built that company, and here's what I found out. When the company was a billion dollar company, Mary Kay was making not half a million, half a billion dollars a year, but a billion dollars a year in gross revenues. When the company reached a billion dollars, they had one person in the company that was a man. Mm. Oh one. That one person, that a lot of people made some serious money. I'm, I'm just going to give you some scale here. A billion dollar a year company and one man there in the company. Prepaid legal hadn't even done half a billion yet, and we produced 118 millionaires already. Yeah. I just want to let you know what you got. Because some of you guys don't realize it yet. You don't realize what you got a hold of. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all have been involved with those uh, privately held companies, or have gone and go. Some of y'all are going to get talked out of prepaid legal into one of those privately held companies. 
Do you understand a private company can change the compensation plan anytime they want, usually down? They can change the product anytime they want. They can change your territory. Do you all understand that? 95% yes. of them go out of business in three to five years. So you come on board with a ground floor opportunity. As soon as you get on board, it goes to the basement. Have you all ever had that happen? <laughs> <laughs> I've had that happen. So I'm just telling you, you got the best deal in town. There is no better. And uh, I'm going to share with you some principles that you can get involved with prepaid legal. Uh, that's really going to uh, make a lot of sense to you and make you a lot of money. Now, one of the things I want to share with you before I, before I forget about it, how many of y'all have heard this? This is something that you can get at uh, Video Plus. I highly recommend you getting this and listening to this. In fact, you guys that put the tools in the back, you got to add this to your tools. We have them now, Mr. Sturgis. Okay, you got it? Okay. you got to have this right here. One of the big problems in network marketing, especially in prepaid legal, is people don't realize how the process is going to go. They come and listen to our presentation, and they think we got a wonderful service, which we do. They think we have a great compensation plan, which we do. And they think that when they leave and they go out and talk to their family and their friends, everybody's going to say yes. Some of y'all thought, this is incredible, this is great, everybody's going to buy this, right? But in the real world, no matter how good something is, everybody's not going to do it. Okay? They didn't believe Jesus was perfect. He never said They didn't believe him. Listen, if I stood right out in front of the hotel, and I had a $1,000 bill in my hand, the person walks by and says, sir, would you like to have a $1,000 bill? First say, well, this is, uh, is that real? Yeah. Is that kind of good? <laughs> Sir, would you like to have a thousand dollar bill? Where did you get it from? <laughs> Ma'am, would you like to have a thousand dollar bill? Is it kind of fit? <laughs> Sir, would you like to have a thousand dollar bill? Is it drug money? What's the catch? What's the catch? Yeah. You understand? I don't care how good something is, not everybody's going to say yes. Just understand that. Okay? When you go out there, Jim Rohn does the best job in the world of conditioning brand new people for what they're going to face when they go out in the field. I want to give you a story. I remember a guy by the name of, we'll call him JB. He had never been in sales before, ever at all. And he got in my own and he was so excited. And I pulled him aside one day and I told him, I said, now listen, uh, you know, we, we're going to do this in steps. And when you go out there, don't be surprised that everybody doesn't say yes. He said, man, yeah, everybody's going to buy this. I said, don't be surprised if everybody doesn't say yes. Not everybody's going to see the business I'm telling you. And he said, he said, I know people that's going to do it right now. So here's what happened. We were doing a public-private business reception because I was doing so many PBRs every single day. I couldn't possibly do it anymore. And so I told my team, I'm going to be here, and you bring all your people to me. And we had a huge, we had more people than this at our private business reception. Anyway, uh, he was up front. JB was up front. There were four seats, JB and three young men sitting right next to him. And uh, we were a little bit early, so about 10 minutes before we started, he came up to me and he said, Mr. Sturgis, I'm so glad, so glad that you talked to me and told me what was going to happen. Because I told him, I said, not everybody's going to do it, and not everybody's going to see it. Because a lot of us, we have somebody that we respect a great deal, our, our good friend Ralph, who we think is, you know, is very knowledgeable and very smart. And if Ralph sees it, I'm gonna make a million dollars. And you go and show Ralph, and Ralph says, man, that's not gonna work. That's a scam. That's a pyramid. You're going to jail. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> and then, I mean, this great opportunity now, you are, you are imploded now. You just, you just deflated. Because one person, you have more faith in one person that you know that you have faith in your own self. It's, a, it's crazy. One person, they deem more high than themselves. If this guy sees it, they are going to tear it up. We, I'm going to be a multimillionaire, and you go to him, and he doesn't see it, and now you wiped out. So I shared that with, with JB, and here's what I'm so glad I did. Because JB was sitting there with three young men, and he said, Mr. Sir, I'm so glad you told me that not everybody would see it. And he said, here's what happened. I couldn't understand why he was sitting there, because he was sitting there with three three people. And he said, here's what happened. He said, Mr. Thurs, I went out there, 
And, and you know, I, I was talking to everybody, and he said, my best friend, my best friend in the world, a guy that I have a tremendous amount of respect for, I went up to him and I said, man, we got a business. I've been looking for this. I know you can use it. And he shared it with him. And you know what that guy said? No. Man, that ain't going to work. <laughs> he said, that, that, that's, that, you know, that's one of the pyramid things. That's a scam. I don't know why people are so afraid of pyramid. You know, people don't even know what a pyramid is and they're afraid of it. You know what the biggest pyramid in the world is? United States government. It looks just like this, doesn't it? Yeah. You got one guy at the top, you got some more here, and some more there, and some more there, and some more there. Your job looks just like that. You got one guy at the top, but you're not afraid of that. You've been working there for 18 years. But this mythical pyramid, you gotta run from it. Man, let me tell you something. If, if anything, if pre pyramid was anything, it's an inverted pyramid. See, in a pyramid, the guy at the top makes all the money, and all the people right here can never reach him. In prepaid legal, we have unlimited room at the top. You start small, and there's unlimited room for anybody that wants it at the top. Yeah. Okay? But anyway, he went out there, and they said, that's a pyramid, that's a scam, that ain't going to work. And he said, I was, he said, Mr. Sturgis, I like think I'm a positive person, but they killed me. <laughs> and my friends say, man, that ain't going to work. Then he said, I went to a relative, and they said, oh, man, I hope you didn't give me your money. <laughs> Did you sign up? Oh, man, you said you get your money back. Then he said, the third person, the third person I went to said, man, let me tell you something. Don't do it, JB. Don't do it, man. You got to have a job. That stuff doesn't work. If it worked, everybody would do it. And he said, after the third one, Mr. Third, he said, really, I had to go home and shake it. He said, you know, I was about to quit. And he said, and from the back of my mind, the conversation we had from the back of my mind, I can hear you saying, not everybody's going to see it. Mm -hmm. But don't be dissuaded by that. From the back of my mind, just before I quit, and he said, and the next person I talked to was Bill, and here he is right here. The next person I talked to is Clyde, and here he is right here. The next person I talked to is Sam, here he is right here. And we're going to tear this thing up. Mm -hmm. Okay? But if I hadn't have prepared him, he would have been out of the game. A lot of you guys don't do that. You bring them to our meeting, and we, we get excited, and they think it's the greatest thing in the world, and you don't condition them for the soil out there. This does the best job in the world of doing that. Okay? He talks about the par parable of the sower. You know, yes. the parable of the sower. The sower goes out and sows seed and good soil and thorny soil, and the birds come and get the seed. He talks about the birds in there. Okay? And they get, they get acclimated to that. And so when they go out, they know what they expect. And so they said, Mr. Rohn said that would happen. Mr. Sturgis said that would happen. So when people say no to them, they're more encouraged instead of torn up. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. It's only a dollar. You can't come into my business without getting one of these first. Mm -hmm. You don't pay for it, I pay for it, and I put it in your hands, and I require you to listen to this before I even start working with you. And so consequently, I don't have near as many people quit my business it's going to quit yours if you don't do it. Is it worth a dollar? Absolutely. I'm glad we got that out of the way. Okay, now, that's what Mr. Uh, Kiyosaki said. Making $1,000 in passive income. Guys, this is absolutely unbelievable. Now, I can tell you this all day long, but you need to see it. Because once you see this, you'll never get it out of your mind. You'll know where the money is or where the money's at uh, in prepaid legal. Now, I gotta tell you a story. <laughs> uh, you know, when you say where the money's at, you got a preposition at the end of the sentence. Well, my friend right here has got a tremendous story. A story. Can you gotta tell us that story? Your friend that that uh, that made that mistake, stand up so they can hear. You. Okay, I heard this. We had this in training in Oklahoma City, and people just fell out. Okay. Well, I, this is literally a true story. I was in a, a women's organization meeting in New York. And we were staying at a very nice hotel, and a group of the women were from, there were women from Tulsa, women from Oklahoma City, women from Texas, and a couple of the women from Texas went up and asked the concierge, they said, could you please tell us where the Museum of Modern Art is at? The concierge sort of grimaced and said, uh, yes, I can tell you where it is, but you never end a sentence with a preposition. 
And so <laughs> my friend from Texas who could buy and sell the hotel said, yeah, well, can you tell us where the Museum of Modern Art is at, bitch? <laughs> <laughs>
I've seen that happen a lot. So that's why I wanted you to see this, so you can determine who you need to work with. Now, at the director level, if you're a director, here's what your spread looks like. And once you get to the director level, you are never, ever, ever cut out of the money. How many of y'all knew that? Once you get to the director level, you are never, ever cut. You can, a director can override another director at the same level. Did y'all know that? It's called a director breakaway. Now, at, at the director level, you're going to make about $8 per sale of every uh, director in your organization. All your managers, you're going to make $34. All your senior associates, you're going to make $69. All of your associates, you're going to make $138. And off of your junior associates, you're going to make $172 per sale off of every junior associate. So what I'm trying to tell you is you need to become a recruiting machine. If you want great residual income, great passive income, you got to be bringing in new people all the time. New people all the time. And, and the reason I want to tell you that is because here's what typically happens. People come on board prepaid legal, and they get, go out and they get four or five people, and they think, oh man, that's it now. I got five people, man. We're fixing to break the bank now. <laughs> um, and then you go into the management mode. You stop bringing in new people, you stop you know, making sales yourself, and you start to manage these people, these five people you got. Herman, you need to be doing this and that and the other. John, you need to be you need to be going out working with somebody. That's what happened. So you start telling these people that you got, and your spread goes away. How many of y'all can see that? Yeah. I just don't want you to make the same mistake that we made. <laughs> okay? <laughs> the first bunch of people you get in, you think, man, I got five or six people. Man, this we fixed it. My bank account now is gonna be overflowed with, with money. But you gotta have the spread there. Now, to make a thousand dollars at the director position, to override another director, they gotta make 125 sales. Now, not them personally, but their whole team. 125 sales from a director team underneath you will produce you a hundred and, uh, uh, I mean, a thousand dollars. Okay? John, how many sales do you have on your team underneath you? Total or monthly? Monthly, monthly total. Thirteen to fifteen hundred. Thirteen to fifteen hundred sales a month underneath him. He overrides all of that at least at the eight dollar level. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you got to have if you got a director for every hundred and twenty-five sales that that director does. I mean the whole team. Then a thousand dollars of it gonna come to you. Does that make sense? But now, if you got managers, and you need to be working more with the managers than the directors, why? Because your spread is bigger, you gonna make more money off of them. And so you don't want your managers sitting around scratching their head trying to figure out what to do. <laughs> really, you don't want you want them to know what to do all the time so they can be productive. So if you had the choice to work with a director or a manager, if you wanted to make the most money, who would you work with? This tells a whole story that. Now look at this. If you got senior associates, it only takes 14.5 sales under any senior associate in your organization for you to make a thousand dollars. Do you have incentive to work with your senior associates? Sure. You bet they can make you a lot of money. Now here's why you want to have brand new people coming in, because at the associate level, it only takes 7.2 sales to make a thousand dollars. Is that incredible? I mean, you didn't make a sale. You had a, an associate on your team went out and did 7.2 sales and a thousand dollars hit your bank account. So you better make sure that your associates on your team, somebody's working with those associates. It doesn't have to be you. You better make sure your managers or your directors are working with their associates because all of that money flows up to you. Does that make sense? How many of y'all have ever seen this before? It's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> okay, so now, what do you have to have at the junior associate level? If you are a director, and for every junior associate that you have, for every sale they make at the bottom, what do you make? How many sales do you have to have at that level for you to make $1,000? 5.8 sales. That incredible stuff? Oh, yeah. That executive stuff, man? That is incredible right there. 
Now imagine, see you're supposed to be managing your business to make you the most income possible. How are you going to do it if you don't understand this? You're going to be working with the wrong people all the time, not the people you should be working with, but you know, you probably spend most of your time with directors because they're high level, right? Well, by the time they get to the director, they don't need as much of your help. But that's typically who we spend all of our time working with, the high level people. They don't need you. You better work with your money. Okay? Now, at the executive director level, uh, you make about $44 off every sale coming from the director, about $80 off every manager, about $114 open line senior associate, $172 open line uh, associate, $216 junior associate level. Yes? Sir, so what does open line mean? Open line means that uh, if you're a manager, your open line is below manager. Senior associate, associate, junior associate. If you're a manager, your open line is junior associate. If you're a manager, your open line is senior associate, associate, junior associate, not another manager. Yet if your manager is equal to you, then that's not open line to you. Now, if you're a senior associate, what is your open line? Associate, associate and junior. Associate. So if you're an associate, what is your open line? Junior. Okay. If you're an executive director, what is your open line? Uh, All of it. As long as there's not another executive director underneath you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what does it take at all of these levels for you to earn $1,000? At the director level, 22.7 sales makes you $1,000. That is unbelievable in most companies. Let me, let me share a, a company statistic, uh, actually an industry statistic. Sometimes I read industry stuff about network marketing in general, and here's what the statistic is. The average person that gets involved in network marketing in their career, they make less than $200 total in their whole career in the company that they join in network marketing. $200. In prepaid legal, you can make $200 without opening your mouth. <laughs> Generally, when you get on board, your upline does all of the talking, all of the sales, just puts your name on it, you haven't even said anything yet, and you made two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Am I right? Yeah. That's why this business is far superior to anything in our industry. I don't know how you found the right company, but you found the right company. That's right. Okay? Well, thank God for prepaid. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So I apologize for my question. It's a bit uh, immature. I apologize for talking to the athletes. Okay. Is there a website that I can go to and see this? Uh, <coughs> well, there is my website. What's my website? Successdocuments.com. Successdocuments.com. You can go there and pull down this. But uh, I don't know if I have this one up here. Are you in the Tulsa area? Yes, sir. Okay. Mr. Luet will have this document at the core training next week. Fantastic. Thank you, sir. Okay. Is that good enough? Yes, sir. The, uh, this presentation, sir, that you did, I have on TulsaPPL.com in the video section from uh, last summer. The same, right same video. It's right there. Okay. Who's, who's doing the training? You are. Okay. It's, it's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Okay. Is this beneficial to you, sir? Is this yes, sir. Help? Absolutely. Okay. Sir. This is the kind of stuff that, that your business is made of. See? All the time, you got to be managing your business. You are CEO of your business. If you're not managing it, if you don't know what's going on, if you don't know where the money's at, nobody does. You can't get in and expect somebody else to tell you what you need to do. You got to know what you need to be doing all the time. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, at the executive director level, it takes only 12.5 sales at the manager level and below for you to make a thousand dollars. Senior associate, only nine sales. Every nine sales from the senior associate level and below puts a thousand dollars in your bank account. Y'all get that? Okay. Now at the associate level, it only takes five point eight sales. Every five point eight sales from an associate or below is a thousand dollars in your bank account. Wow. Now 
Here's what you got to do. You don't have to work with all of these people. You just got to run your business so that every associate that's in your business, somebody's working with them. Every senior associate in your business, somebody's working with them and developing them. Every manager in your business, somebody's working with them. And it doesn't have to be you. Somebody's got to be doing that. And since you're the CEO, you got to make sure that that happens if you want to make a lot of money. Does that make sense? Okay? Now, at the junior associate level, critical, $1,000 for every five sales. Is that unbelievable or what? Oh, yeah. Absolutely unbelievable. Now, that's our training on that. Any questions on that? Any questions, anybody? Now, I'm going to share with you something right now that uh, I've, only, I've only trained on this in a couple of places. Uh, I did this training in Wichita Falls, Texas. I believe you two were with me there. Uh, and I went to a super regional in Chicago, Illinois. And I shared this information in Chicago. Uh, there was thousands of people there, and they absolutely went crazy. Absolutely went hate. Because they'd never seen anything like this before. And here, here's why they were so excited about it. Is because some of them have been in prepaid legal for a long time, and they hear a lot of things from a lot of different people, uh, and they heard so much they didn't know what was important. You know, when you've heard, I mean, you've been here listening to the executive director after executive director, you've been listening to platinum, you've been listening to ring earners, you've been listening. You can get so much stuff that you're so confused you don't know what's most important. Am I right? You always have to keep the main thing, the main thing in your business. You can't ever get defocused. So here's the deal. If anybody on your team is confused about what they should be doing right now, then you're not going to make any money. Because I've heard Brian Carruthers say this over and over and over. A confused mind does what? Nothing. Nothing. A confused mind does nothing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you five things. Five. Five things. That you need, if you do these five things right here, I don't care how bad you are, I don't care how new you are, I don't care how little you know, you will make crazy adult money in prepaid. <laughs> how many of y'all want to make grown folks money? <laughs> I'm going to show you how to make adult money if, we, if you just do these five things. Not 10 or 15, five. Can you do five? Yeah. And see, I'm about simplicity. I know if I give you too much stuff, you're not going to do it. Um, so we're going to keep five things that, that if you lock in on, it will blow your business out of water. In six months, you won't recognize your business. Y'all want to know what they are? Yes. yes. How much money you got? <laughs> <laughs> now get this. This is for part-time, spare-time, crazy income if you're part-time, spare-time. How many of y'all qualify for that? And uh, so here we go. Number one, and by the way, uh, at the core training, you got to come to the core training and get this. Core training next week, Mr. Lewitt is going to have this document, everything that I want to show you on the screen, he's going to have it on one sheet of paper at the core training. You got to be there. How much money you got? If you're going to be there, I just want you to know this. I'm going to go through this rather quickly. And I just want to let you know, if it's on screen, and uh, you're going to be there next Monday, you'll get it on one sheet. I really rather you focus in on what I'm saying so you don't miss it. You can get so busy writing your notes. And if you need to make notes, please do that. But I want you to, I want you to get this in your spirit. Is that okay? Because yep. yes. I don't want you to miss this. Because if you get this right here, if you get this right here, you will not recognize your income in six months. I'm telling you. You won't be able to stand it. This right here caused me to be able to walk away from my job in five months. This took me from $80,000 a year in prepaid legal through the six-figure ring. And now I'm duplicating on my team all around the country. Just five things. Can you do five? Yes. Yeah. Just five. Number one. Get one new prospect to the weekly briefing.
just one prospect. I'm going to try to tell you something that I know you can do. If none of y'all can't tell me that you can't do this, it is so simple that anybody can do it. Get one new prospect to the weekly briefing. Now, how many people should you get to the weekly briefing? One. one. Or more. Can you get one? Uh -huh. Just one. Because, see, if I told you to get two or three or five or six, you want to tell me that's kind of hard, that's kind of difficult, you can't do it all the time. So the only thing I ask you to do is just one. If you, right here, just these people in this room right here, if every single one of you guys just got one new person to the weekly briefing, your weekly briefing would double in one week. The next week, it would triple. The next week, it would triple again. Are you with me? So I want you guys right here to sign up. And this is, we're going to call this our core team right here. Core team. How many of y'all who live right here in the Tulsa area can be a part of Tulsa? Okay. This is going to be our core team for Tulsa. Okay. You guys are going to drive the production. You're going to drive the business. You're going to drive the income here in Tulsa. Now, the people that's not here won't even know what you're doing. They won't even know how you're doing. They won't know what in the world is happening to these people. Now, here's the deal. If you like them, you can tell them. If you don't like them, don't tell them. <laughs> okay? So, here's the deal. Get one new person, one new brand new person that you've never taken to a briefing before, to the weekly briefing. Just one. Who in here can't get one? Can't get one. Now, here's what you got to do. You got to commit to getting that one. Not sometime, not maybe, not I'll try, but you got to get one. Now, let me tell you the best way to get one. Get one, invite 10 or 15, but put one in your car. Put one in your car. I got some experience on that. Every person over the last eight years that I've been in prepaid legal that I put in my car got to the meeting. <laughs> I didn't have one person jump out of the car yet. <laughs> so your job is to get one person. If, I mean, if, they, if they, you invite five or six, seven people, you can't count on that. You got to get one to the, to the meeting. Who can do that? How many of y'all commit to just getting one? one? Just one a week. Just one. Your meeting is about to double, triple, quadruple in record time. I don't care what, how many people do you have to invite now? Huh? I don't care how many you invite, get one to the meeting. You have to get one. If you want to be wealthy, can you get one to be wealthy? In fact, today we're going to start a new, we're going to start a new acronym, EOBO. E-O-B-O. E-O-B-O. Each one, bring one. Each one, bring one. And I'm telling you that we'll be on the corporate call talking about what in the world is happening in Tulsa. What in the world is happening in Tulsa? What, how, how did they double, triple, quadruple their meeting? And you'll know the secret. And it'll be so simple that nobody else will figure it out. What would be the key? Yo, yo. Everybody's bringing one, just one. Now listen, don't there, don't get caught bringing two. Don't. No, listen, just one. If you commit to one, can you commit to one? Yes. I don't care if you ever bring two or three. I mean, you can do that if you want to, but your commitment is what? One. Can you do one? Yes. Don't think about it. Do it. Raise your hand if you commit to one. One per week. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It is going to be incredible. It is starting right here today. Okay? So, one, if you invite, invite as many as you need to, but get one in your car. Now, the next thing is the one, do one man I pack per week. A lot of people ask me, Mrs. Sturgis, how are you all across the United States? I haven't gone to all the states that I'm in in the United States, but this is the key right here. 
One, Jeff Olson said, I didn't, I didn't come up with it. Jeff Olson said, you got to get one mail out pack for women. Just one. Nobody in here can tell me you can't do just one mail out pack. My team is growing faster around the United States than it is in the state of Oklahoma. You know why? Because every week I get at least one mail out pack. Now, at first, I didn't think one could make that much difference. One a week for the last eight years has been incredible. But you got to commit to the one. See, if I told you to do five or six, you're not going to do it. Can't you do one? Let me see your hand if you can do one. See, here's the deal, guys. I'm trying to tell you how simple it is to build an incredible income in prepaid legal. It's not as hard as you think. There are a few simple things that you need to do over and over and over repeatedly that will make you wealthier than your wildest dreams. A few simple things. Now, I've taken uh, 30 years of networking and eight years of success in prepaid legal, and I've boiled it down to five things when you do the five. Yes. Just five. Everywhere I go, I ask people, say, Mr. Sturge, what should I be doing? I, I, you know, what's important? What should I do first? What should I do next? You guys are getting the five. There are other things important, and this will work with anything that your team is doing. Anything that your team is teaching, this will work with all of that. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. So, one meal I pack. Can we commit to that? Yes. Now, personally, do one PBR per week. I used to do a PBR every single day. In fact, when I first got in involved in prepaid legal, I was doing two to three PBRs every single day. Every single day. I did, I did on Monday, I did two or three PBRs on Tuesday. It was our weekly briefing on Wednesday. I do two to three PBRs on Thursday. I would do two to three on Friday. I would do two to three on Saturday. I would do two to three or four. Uh, and on Saturday, I would do, we, we would have, uh, Every, we'd have them lined up every two hours apart. We'd be doing PBRs. And, and we'd get people. In fact, this was crazy. We started at 10 o'clock in the morning, and we'd have our first group there at 10 o'clock in the morning. And we would do a presentation, and we'd get those people in, and we said, in two hours, we're going to have another one right here at this hotel. And it was crazy. Those people would go out and get three or four people, and in two hours, they would be right back there, and we'd do a presentation. And then, guess what? Then we tell them, in two hours, we're doing this again. So those people will come back, and the people that they brought in will come back, and they will come back with some more people, and we'd have five, six times the people there after three rotations. By the time we did that four times, man, we'd have a room full of people, and we did, we did that one person with the rector in one day. In one day. Now, I'm assuming y'all don't want to work hard. You just want to make a lot of money. Am I right about that? Yes. Yeah. I'm telling you the simplest, easiest way to make a lot of money in prepaid legal. Are you with me? Yes. How many of y'all getting something out of this? Yes. Okay. Now, one PBR per week. You are responsible, as the CEO of your company, you are responsible for doing at least one PBR for all the people you bring in. You ain't got to do it for all of them, but you got to do at least one. I'm just telling you, if you just do that, you will not believe the power of what your team is doing. And then teach your leaders to do one, just one. That's the number one. Number two, you ready for number two? Yes. Number two is this. Do two qualified exposures a day. Two qualified exposures a day. I didn't say four or five. I didn't say 10 or 12. Because this is part-time spare time. If you're part-time spare time, you should do two qualified exposures a day. If you're full, if you're full time, you need to be doing five to eight exposures a day. Now I didn't say presentations. I said exposures. I did not say <coughs> sit-downs. I said exposures. Here's what a qualified exposure is. Qualified exposure is where you expose some new person to your business and you give them a tool, and you get their name and number. A qualified exposure is where you say something to somebody about your business, you give them a tool, and what, what constitutes as a tool? A CD, a DVD, a website, a sizzle call, any of that 
gives a tool. That's an exposure. You can't be you. You shouldn't be up there giving these people a presentation. You give them a tool that, that, that exposes them and does a presentation. That's the private business reception DVD. Thank you, sir. This right here, in my opinion, is the premium tool in prepaid bill. This thing right here is making me rich. Right here. Okay? And here's what I do. I walk up to somebody, I talk to them, I get, I uh, ask them, do you, do you keep your options open when it comes to making serious extra money? And they say yes, and I'll say, I'm assuming you the type of person that likes to get all the information up front before you make any kind of decision. They say yes. And so I give them this DVD with my name and number on there. And sir, when you watch this, now this is a DVD, DVD, CD. It's a DVD, CD. On the one side it's a CD, on the other side it's a DVD. Now why do I tell them that? Put the wrong side in, it doesn't work. Because a lot of you guys don't do that. You just hand them the CD. You know what happened? They go out to their truck or their car, and they take out their music CD, and they put this in, and they put it on the wrong side, and it doesn't do anything. You know what they do with it? Take it out and throw it away. So I tell them this is a CD, DVD. CD, DVD. Now, if, once you put it into your CD player, if you put it on the wrong side, and it doesn't play, turn it over and put it in again. If you want to watch the information and listen to it, when you go home, you put it in your DVD player. If you put it on one side, it doesn't work, turn it over. Very, very important. Okay? That makes sense? Yes, sir. Okay. So that's a qualified exposure with follow-up. Once you make that qualified exposure, you've got to get their name and their number, and you've got to call them. First of all, you ask them to call you back with a DVD. Uh, and here's kind of how I do it. Once I hand you the DVD, okay, uh, sir, here's my name and my number. I want to give you that. Now, if I give you this, will you, will you promise me you'll watch it in the next 24 hours? Yes. Okay, now, first thing I want you to do, let's kind of break the seal right now. I notice you're here in the mall shopping. I know you got to get in your car and go home. Uh, what I want you to do is, is I want you to take it and put this in your CD player when you get in the vehicle on the way home. And listen to the CD side. If it doesn't work, turn it over, okay? But here's what I want you to do. Make sure you got your seatbelt on before you listen to this because the information will blow you away, I promise you. Okay? They can't wait to go out and listen to it now. Can't wait. And see, some of you guys just give them a DVD. You don't add any value to it. I just add tremendous value to it. You see what I'm saying? Doesn't take much. Just got to know what you're doing, okay? So that's what I do right there, and I, I say now my number, my name and my number is right here. Okay, give me a call in 24 hours. Will you do that? Tell me what you think. Now, do you have a business card? Okay. Can I have your business card? Okay, here's mine. We exchange business cards, and guess what? Your call. Guess what's on that card? His name. His name, his number, his, all everything I need. So now I ask him to call me in 24 hours, right? But what if he doesn't? Oh, I'm calling him. I got all the cards. He doesn't have a card. I got them. Are you with me? How many of y'all can do that? Mr. Sturgis, what if they don't have a business card? What do you okay. Do, we, do you have a business card? I do. Okay. Let's say you know. I know. <laughs> okay. So if you didn't have a business card, not a problem. Well, here's my name and my number right here. And uh, what I want you to do is I want you to listen to that and give me a call. Would you please? Sure. Okay. Now, and then here's my business card with my name and my number on it. Okay? All right? And then I take out a second business card, my business card, and I turn it over on the back. And I say, now, uh, I'm sometimes kind of hard to get a hold of. What's the best number to get you in? <laughs> okay. And what's the whole name? Okay. Now, I didn't ask him his name, did I? What did I ask him? Oh, now, we've been talking a few minutes. He thinks that I know his first name, but I don't. <laughs> okay, what's the whole name? Herman, what's the best time to call you? Oh, oh my goodness. That was so smooth. That's so below the radar, he didn't see it coming. I'm serious. He has no resistance to that. That's how I did that. And once he told me his name, you know what I did? You know what the most beautiful sign to a human being is? Their name. You say their name. Oh, my goodness. 
So he said, Herman, and I said, Herman, what's the best time to call you? Okay, it did. Now, you know what he just told me? In a conversation, he told me, you know, in a conversation, I just asked him what he did. He told me what he did. He told me he's not making enough money where he is. He told me he keeps his options open when it comes to making extra income. Are you with me? Is all that good stuff? Oh, yeah. He tells me that, uh, you know, uh, he'd like to get all the information. That's why I gave him the DVD. Then he told me his name, his phone number, and the best time to call him. What else do I need? <laughs> Can y'all do that? That made me six figures last year. Yes, sir. What if your approach might have been a little strong or you come off too, too strong with them and they don't want to give you their name and number? Would you give them a DVD? No, I wouldn't give them the DVD. That, if, if you don't give me your name and number, that moves you from a prospect to a suspect. I treat prospects totally different than I treat suspects, especially if you're on a low budget because you don't have DVDs to be given out, given out, given out, given out, and you don't have any option to get back with them. Chances are they're not going to call you. If I get their name and number, I don't care if they call me. I'm calling them. But if you don't give me your name and your number, I'm going to do something different. Uh, I just gave you this DVD, right? Yes. And you don't give me your business card, you don't give me your number? Okay? Uh, look, I got something a little bit better for you than this. Write this number down. Okay? 1-800. 666-9999. Call that. Make sure you're sitting down when you got the phone to you because the information will blow you away, I promise you. <clears throat> Y'all see how I did that? Man, you ain't giving me your number? Ain't giving you my seat? <laughs> <laughs> how long is that call? Uh, the call is four minutes, three minutes, something like that. You choose whichever one you want. Y'all understand what I just did? Yes. I don't talk to anybody I know. It's so easy for me to get recruits. Last year I had 83 recruits. I recruited 83 people in one year. You know how I did that? Absolute stranger, every single one of them. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. People I did not know. Most of them, you know, can, how many of y'all can do that? A lot of people tell me, well, I don't know anybody. Okay, great. This is a great business for people that don't know nobody. You don't need to know anybody to have success in prepaid legal. You know what I mean? So that's what I do. How many of y'all can do that? I'm just telling you, I'm just giving you a simple thing that's going to make you money. I'm not going to tell you any theory, any fluff, everything I tell you today, you can convert to money if you're serious. How many of y'all can appreciate that? Yes. Good deal. How many of y'all want to get some more information? Yes. Okay. All right. So two bottom fatty photos a day with follow up. Now, what if you give somebody a DVD? I know the big problem you have, you give somebody, somebody a DVD and you call them up in 24 to 40 hours. Did they watch it? No. Did they listen to it? No. And so what do you do? Say, well listen, I'm going to give you another 24 hours. Uh, please watch it. It's exciting information on there. And you call them up in 24 to 40 hours. Did they watch it? No. The kids got in the way. The wife had them to do something that's the And what do you do? Uh, listen, Jack, I'm going to give you another 24 hours. Uh, will you watch Do you all do that? No. Is that what you do? <laughs> you know what I do if I give them a DVD and they don't watch it? You know what the definition of insanity is? You're doing the same thing over and over expecting a different result. Man, if you didn't watch it the first time, you're probably not going to watch it the second time. I know you ain't going to watch it the third time. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, Mr. Webb, did you get a chance to watch that DVD? No, sir. Great! Fantastic! Here's what I want to do. I want to set up a time where I can get with you and show you everything that was on there in person. Oh my goodness. I hope you didn't watch the CD. I hope you didn't watch it. Some of y'all, y'all get upset. All of a sudden, they won't watch the video. I've been giving out all these DVDs. They won't watch them. And I keep asking them to watch them. They won't watch them. But what do I do with all? How do I get all my CDs back? <laughs> let, me give, let me let you in on a secret. Y'all want to know a secret? Yes. Yeah. You're not giving the DVD for them to watch it or listen to it. The DVD is just a pretext to get their name and number. I could care less whether they listen to it. I don't care if they watch it. I hope they don't. Are you with me? Yes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> don't tell me this business won't work. Just tell me you ain't been working it right. Are you with me? I'm assuming y'all want to make
make money. Is that an incorrect assumption? No. Now, recruit two associates a month that you can work with. Recruit two associates a month that you can work with. Now, how many people do you need to recruit every month? Two. That's not correct. How many people do you need to recruit? However many you have to do to get two you can work with. Sometimes that may be six, it may be seven. One week, I was one of the top recruiters in the, in the nation for that week. I recruited 13 people in one week. You know why I recruited 13 people in one week? Because I had to recruit that many to find two I could work with. <laughs> See, this business is not hard, y'all just making it hard. It is, listen, it is a sin to get involved in pre bed legal and not make money. It is so easy. You got your product is unbelievable. The compensation plan is the best in the, in the universe. You just got to do the right thing. There are a few simple things you need to do over and over and over. You can be terrible at most things if you just do these five. If you're good at these five, you're going to make money. Are you with me? Yes. How many of y'all magic came today? Yeah. 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 This is better than Bugs Money, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all were I almost stayed home and watched Bugs Money on television. This is better than that's my house class, isn't it? <laughs> How many people you got to recruit a month? What you've been doing wrong? Yeah. See, you you ain't wait, you're not you're not far off the plan. That's just a few simple things you gotta tweak. If you're willing, you can become rich. Yeah. Are you with me? Yeah. Now I don't know what those people that's not here today, what they're gonna do, they will not be able to compete with you guys. Never. Because of what they don't know. Are you with me? Yeah. Do this. Two. That's the number two. Get two people you can work with. Now, most people are not going to be ready to work. That's okay. I've just told you up front, some people will not participate in their own rescue. You just keep going until you find two that's ready. Yeah. Two people a month that you're working with, you've already seen what it takes to get over rides at a various different level for you to make $1,000. Two people working with you, going to make you two, three thousand dollars a month. Just two. Especially if you're director. Do you see it? Yes. All you got to do is tweak it a little bit. Just a little bit. A little tweaking, a little adjustment can be the difference between two thousand dollars a month and eight thousand dollars a month. <laughs> Just a little tweak. Are you with me? Okay, now. Here's a simple model. That shows you. Y'all want y'all want to see the, all of this in working right here? Uh -huh. You want me to show you what two exposures a day will do if you do it? Yes. See, here's the problem. We tell people two exposures a day. Very few people do it. If we have people to go out there. I'm gonna do five a day. I'm gonna do six a day, and they'll do five or six for two days, and then they won't even do two a day. But if you will, if you will lock down, if you will commit to doing just two a day, the whole day. Do two exposures a day, I'm going to show you what's, what can happen. It happened to me. And it, it happened many times over to Mr. Hale. I'm going to show you a model, simple model right here. This has already happened to me, so don't tell me it won't work. Since you are part-time, spare time, you become absolutely committed. Say absolutely committed. Absolutely, absolutely committed. Absolutely committed to two. You do not go to bed at night until you talk to at least two people. I remember times when I got busy helping my team and I committed to my wife that I would do at least two exposures a day. I couldn't go home until I went and did some exposure. So on the way home, I went to Walmart that stays open all hours of the night. If there are people in there, they're in trouble. <laughs> I can't go home until I talk to my two. I promised my wife. I promised my mentor I'm going to do two. I got to keep my word. Can y'all do that? Yes. Look at what's going to happen to you in your business. Are you ready? Some of y'all ain't ready for this. 
Ready? Look at this. You always, always do to take two days off a week. Don't do it seven days. You can only do it five days. You, you can only talk to two people, and you can only do it five days a week. You can't do it seven. Don't let me catch you trying to do it seven days. <laughs> You'll screw it up. <laughs> okay, now two times five is ten exposures a week. All you did was expose ten people in the whole week. Now I don't care what your job is, I don't care how demanding it is, I don't care how many hours you gotta work, you can do ten exposures a week. Am I right? Yes. So that's ten exposures a week. A whole week you only talk to ten people. And you got you did quantified exposures. You gave them a tool and you got their name and number. That's all I'm talking about. People you just talk to and don't do anything with, those don't count. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Now, 10 times 4.3, so you have 4.3 weeks in a month, 10 exposures a week, that's 4.3 weeks in a month, that's 43 exposures per month. That's only if you do two a day and take off Saturday and Sunday. There ain't nobody in here that can't do that, am I right? Now, Let's assume that you are terrible. You are lousy at your prepaid legal business. You fail 88% of the time. If you did 43 exposures a month, 43 presentations a month, and you fail 88% of the time, you only sold five memberships a month. 88% of them got away. You screwed up 88% of them, you were only able to get five of them. Nobody in this room is that bad. But the key is, what? Exposure. If you don't do the two exposures a day, it can't happen. But if you did the two exposures a day, you can be lousy and still make five sales a month. Now in prepaid legal, what's five sales a month? Ten points. Players Club 10. Do you know what happens if you're Players Club 10? If you play us Club 10, the company gives you, uh, the company collects uh, prospects and gives them to you. Did y'all know that? I get two to three to four uh, uh, new prospects every month that the company finds them and puts them on my website. And because I'm Players Club 10, I have access to them. Does that make sense? Yes. yes. So, all you did was two exposures a day. You took off Saturday and Sunday. You never talked to a third person the other day, and you're lousy, you fail 88% of the time. You only sold five or one. Are you with me? Five or one at, uh, we're going to see what that's, what that's going to do for you later on. We won't talk about that right now. Now, you recruit three to four new people a month, but only two stayed, became active. Because I told you you got to find two that you can work with, right? Now, you recruited three to four people just to find two. You might have to recruit four or five to find two. Okay? And in a month's time, you train these people to be as bad as you are. <laughs> you train them to be loud. You train them to fail 88% of the time. Uh, 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 my favorite part. Because <laughs> you got to make them as bad as you are. See, I'm trying to tell you, you can't be bad enough not to be a success in prepaid legal. The only way you cannot make money in prepaid legal is if you don't do anything. You can't do two exposures a day and not make good money in prepaid legal. There's no way you can expose five people a day and not make crazy money. You can't have it. So, you know, one time, you train them to be as bad as you, only two stay. Here's what happened to me. Y'all want to see this? Yes. This is crazy. First month, you went out there and you recruited two people, okay? And then you and them, we're going to take you out of the equation. Nope. You, those two recruited two people, then you got six people. Second month, you got six people in your business, okay? The third month, how many people you got? Twelve people. I've done this. Look at this. Fourth month, you got twenty-four. The fifth month, 
you got the sixth month, you got 96 people. Uh, the eighth month, you got 384. Uh, around the tenth month, you got 1,500 people. The eleventh month, you got 3,000 people. The twelfth month, you have 6,144 people. Even if it didn't happen in a year, if it happened in three years, you still got 6,000 people. Please tell me what you did. Two, you did two exposures a day. day. Okay? And you recruited two people a month that day. And this is what happened to you. You haven't done anything fantastic. You haven't done anything that took a lot of time. You haven't done anything that you can't do while working on your job. But you still got 6,100 people. Is that reasonable? <coughs> yes. Have we done anything fantastic yet? No. Nope. But you know what? We can't let you keep 6,100 people. That's too many. We got to get rid of some of those people. So let's just say, even though you didn't do anything fantastic to get these, guess what? You got 6,144 active associates. What would be a reasonable amount to quit? What, what about what about what would happen if thirty percent quit? What if we get rid of thirty percent? Even though you only did two exposures a day, you only recruited two people, and you only trained your team to be as bad as you, and they only got two. Let's get rid of. It. What if what if thirty percent quit? Is that okay? Huh? That's still too many people. What if fifty percent of them quit? What if we took fifty percent of them out of the equation? Would you have enough left to make any money? Yes. Oh, yeah. Half of them, although you got them with just two exposures a day, two recruits a month. Let's get rid of half of them. Can we do that? That's still too many. What if, what if 60% of them quit? No, what if we got rid of 70% of them? You still make too much money. What if 80% of them left? I'll tell you, let's do this. What if we got rid of 9 out of 10? Okay. You were so bad. Because you failed 88% of the time to get these. Yeah. But then you, were, you still were bad. You were so bad that you got rid of, you teed off 9 out of 10, and they left. <laughs> <laughs> Who in this room is that bad? <laughs> if you're that bad, you're raising your hands for me. You ain't that bad. Would it be okay if we got rid of 90% of them? No. Listen, if 9 out of 10 quit, that's 5,530 uh, people that we just got rid of. Say, go. How many you got in that? 614. You got 614 people, that's still too much money. You got, look, if, if half of them did nothing, half of the 614 did nothing, didn't talk to anybody, didn't make any sales, didn't get any new recruits, didn't do their business, sat home and watched TV. Half of them did nothing. Now you got 307 active associates. Mm -hmm. Are we doing okay? <laughs> Man, we got rid of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Are you with me? Yeah. 307 active associates left. But look, that's, you can't, you couldn't handle that much money. <laughs> look at this. No one does more than one membership a month, not two or three or four. One of them, raise your hand. This lady is Players Club 10 every single month. She's a registered nurse, has a bail bond business, but she's going to get Players Club 10 if it, I'm, she's going to get it, okay? She doesn't miss, ever. You know what the great thing is? She's on my team. <laughs> <laughs> No one does more than one. I got a guy in Oklahoma City that does 30 and 40 a month by himself. They just screw it up. Nobody does more than one. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Have we done it down enough? No, that's still too much money. Look at this. 307, let's get rid of another 25% just on general principle. Oh, you okay with that, Rod? Rod is having a ball over here. Because Rod knows he ain't that bad. Let's, let's throw out another 20. Is that okay? Sure. I want this thing, I want this to be so ridiculous 
that nobody in here say, I can't do that. I want the worst person to say, Mr. Sturgeon, I can do better than that. I'm not going to get rid of 90%. I'm not going to get rid of half of it. Look at this. So you got 230 left. After you get rid of 25%, 230 membership times $35 that you will make at the director level, uh, that's $8,050 a month. $8,050 a month. And you didn't do any more than two exposures a day. You failed 88% of the time. You trained your team to be as bad as you were, and then you got rid of 99 out of every 10. And you kicked another 25% out just on general principle. Think about that. Ain't nobody in this room that bad. Are you with me? This, now look at this. 8,000 times 12, that's $96,000 a year. And guess what? If you got, if you got five apps a month, what did that put you? Players Club. Players Club 10, that's $300 a month, right? That puts you over the six figure ring. That's what happened to me. Don't say it don't work. That's what happened to me. Now, you are not this bad, believe me. How many of y'all can see some action, action there? How many of y'all needed to see that? Needed to see it with your own eyes? Because see, if I just told you, you wouldn't see it. We got rid of everybody but the kitchen sink. <laughs> and, you know, and you still make it six years a year. How many see yourself in there somewhere? Either at the $50,000, $60,000, $70,000 level. Depends on how bad you want to be. Now, if you want to be 95% bad, then you can still make $60,000 a year. If you only, have five, if you only do 5% of it right. Oh, let's get to number three. Y'all ready for number three? Because I'm only going to show you five things. Number three. There are three people that you can get to the manager level. Just three. Find three people that you can get to the manager level. Now, if you get three people to the manager level, Ron Tag, what does that make you? That makes you director. That's the top part-time position in prepaid legal. This gets you to director. This maximizes your override. I showed you what you can make in passive income off of the senior associates, off the associates, off the junior associates. You got the top part-time position. Do you understand there are people in this country, there are people in this company at the director level that make sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year? How many of y'all know the laces in Oklahoma City? <coughs> the laces in Oklahoma City are part-timers. They've never been full-time. Who can tell me the most they made in a year? $84,000. $84,000 in one year, part-time, spare time, with another full-time job. There is no reason you can't make fifty. dollars What would an extra $50,000 do to your bottom line, to your home? Would that put some money in your savings account? Would that pay off some credit card debt? Would that oh, get yeah. you a decent car for your wife? Here's my question. Can you do two a day? And get rid of 90% of it? Can you do that? <laughs> See, I'm trying to make this thing so ridiculous that there won't be one person in here that won't go out of here and say, listen, I can do that. I'm going to be serious about two of them. Are we there yet? Oh, yes. yes. As a qualified director, you can always override your organization. You can over let me tell you something. Prefect is so good that a director can override a platinum. Yep. Did y'all know that? Yep. A director in prepaid legal can override a platinum executive director. Did y'all know that? Raise your hand, Mr. John Frazier. What level are you right now? You're a director? Director. What's Mark Smith? What level is he? Platinum 2 or Platinum 3? Mark Smith is a Platinum 2, Platinum 3, makes $750,000 a year, and he overrides it.
This man is a platinum executive director. Mark is about to make a million dollars a year and a director overrides a platinum. Yes. What does that mean? That means Money. <laughs> Money. a lot of income off of what the platinum is doing. And he's not even full time. He didn't even make it to executive director yet. You're, you're up now with sitting down and spending it to yes. Yes, sir. If you analyze our, annualize our income from last year. Yes. Just being a qualified director is sixty thousand a year on Mark's business oh, right now. Goodness. Not even a director bonus. So I mean, executive director. director. All you gotta do is have five, five, and five. You gotta have three legs that will give you five counters a month. If you're a director and you got three legs that gives you five counters a month, a total of fifteen, or you do all fifteen, that allows you to override directors and platinum and executive directors, diamonds, all bronzes, silvers, all the way down to the line. It cannot happen any place else but where? Aren't you glad yes. that you yes. found prepended? Yes. Oh my goodness. Ready for another number? Sure. Number four. I'm only going to give you five. All I want you to, all I want you to concentrate on five numbers. Are we doing okay? Yes. Okay, number Chris is having a ball over there. Okay. Oh my goodness, this right here, this is one of the most overlooked things in all of networking, especially in prepaid leave. Drive four levels deep with each new recruit to find a leader. I'm going to give you time to write this because this is one of the most important things I'm going to tell you. Drive four levels deep for the new leader with a new recruit to find a leader. Why would you want to do that? Because people being what they are, let me tell you why most people are, most people are not successful. Would you like to know? Yes. Because success, to, because success is seldom convenient. Most of the time, success is not convenient. That's why most people won't ever have it. Here's another reason though. You ready for it? Success is voluntary. Nobody's gonna make you, nobody's gonna make you a success. You can do it if you want to, you don't have to. People quit. The people that you bring on board, a lot of them are gonna quit. Why? Why they quit? That's just how people are. You can't do anything about it. Most of the people you bring on board front line, they're gonna quit. That's just what happens. Every millionaire that we have in prepaid people, guess what? Most of them people quit. Most of them, they're still multi-millionaires. Are you are you ready? Yeah. Now, I'll just read I'll read that right there. Somebody read that to me. Drive four levels deep with each new recruit to find a leader. Some of y'all don't know what that means. Let me show you what I do. I just recruited Mr. Herman Lewitt. Mr. Lewitt, come up. I'm, I like visuals because I want to burn it into your brain. Okay, Mr. Mr. Lewitt is somebody I just recruited. Okay. I just recruited him. Now, uh, we're going to do, we're going to set up a private business reception in three to five days. I'm going to do his private business reception in his home in three to five days. We invited a whole bunch of people, but because we did three-way calls, we had, uh, we had seven people to show up. And out of those seven people, we did a private business reception. Three of them saw. Three of them got membership. And so three people, I want three people to come up. And then one more person. Okay? Now, at the briefing, I did the presentation. I saw how he was paying attention, how he was, she was paying attention, how he was paying attention. And I made an assessment during the presentation, which one of those is the sharpest one. Okay? So, I made an assessment that she was the sharpest one. Okay? So, Here's what I did. Mr. Lewitt, yes, we got three new people on your team. Yes, I know you're working part-time. You can't work with all of them. So and I'm going to help you with this gentleman and this gentleman, but I'm going to work with her person. Okay? Is that all right with you? Okay, I know you're going to run with I'm going to help you with her, but I'm going to work with her person just like she belongs to me, all right? And we're going to run. Okay? Now, I'm going to sit down with her. I'm going to get her a list. 
And then we're going to do use three of calls, and we're going to invite people to her briefing, her PBR. And then we had seven to eight people show up. And out of those seven to eight people, we then had three people sign up. So I need three more people. Okay. Three more people. Okay. What is your name? Gabrielle? Okay, Gabrielle, we, we've had some good success here today. You've got three brand new people on your team. Okay? Now, here's the deal. I know you're working part-time. I know you got some things to do. I know you can't work with all these people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with this gentleman right here, myself. I'm going to help you with those two, but I'm going to work with him myself. Okay? All right? Okay? And then I'm going to get his list. We're going to do three-way calls, and we're going to invite people. Okay? Thank you, Mr. Sir. We're going to invite people. Guess what we're going to do? Same thing that we did before. And we invited eight or nine people. We sold seven memberships, but three people signed up. So give me three more people. Okay? Now, sir, I know you're working hard on your full-time job. I know you don't have time to train all these people. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with one of them. I'm going to work with this gentleman right here, myself, okay? I'm going to help you with these two, but I'm going to work with him. Y'all see what's going on? See, if I left it to Mr. Llewellyn, he might not have done what he needed to do. He might not have gotten those three years. I'm not going to leave it to him. I'm going to do it. Because whose company is it? Who's the CEO? You are. I got to make sure it's done. I'm not going to leave it to him. Now, he's going to make plenty of money, but this is my company that we're building through him. Y'all get that? Yes. Now, what I did with him is I made an assessment that she was the sharpest one, and so I picked the sharpest one, and I'm going to work with that person. Because I'm not going to let the sharpest person, I'm not going to leave the sharpest person to nobody, because that person's on my team now. You know I got him from somebody else, okay? And then I made an assessment that he was the sharpest person on that team, and so but I, did, I did the same thing for him. Now I got these three guys. And guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to do the same thing with him, okay? Uh, Mr. DeWitt is first level. Gabrielle is second level. He's third level. He's fourth level. I went four levels deep in my organization. I promise you, once I go four levels deep, the real leaders going to show up. Oh my goodness, yes. Well, and I think that it's important that what you've just done is force your first person to either get busy that's right. I mean, they're, they're, to capture all of his income, he's now got to work. He's got, he's got fear of loss. Okay? He's going to have to fish or cut bait. <laughs> okay? And generally, they'll fish. They'll fish. You see what I'm saying? But I'm not leaving it to him. I'm not leaving. I'm not going to leave my business to him. I like him and everything, but I'm not going to leave my business to him. To him. Okay? And, and so from him, we got in three people. You think I'm going to leave my business to her? I mean, she's pretty and everything, but I'm not, I can't leave my business to her because I'm the CEO. And then from there, I got this guy. I like him, but do you think I'm going to leave my business to him? No. I promise you, once I go four levels deep, the real leader's going to show up. Are you with me? Listen, I was at a millionaire retreat. Well, most of we've been there three years in a row. Paul J. Meyer, who just passed, every year for three years, he invited us to his retreat in Texas. And we were there with multi-millionaires. In fact, my wife and I was one of the few that qualified that weren't millionaires yet. So we was walking around with people like John Gardner and Patrick Shaw, Brian Carruthers and Darnell Self. All these guys are millionaires. And so one of the, I don't know what made me do this, but I went through the room, because you can talk to them just like, I mean, everybody was somebody there. And everybody was nobody, because they didn't care who you were. If you were there, you were somebody. OK? And so I just went through the room asking questions. And I said, Mr. Uh, Mr. Shaw, how many people of your top leaders in the country, how many of them are on your first level? Where are they? Where are your top leaders? And he had to think about that. He said, well, you know what? None of them are on my first level. And all of them were within four levels. 
I went to Mr. Gardner, asking the same question. You know what we found out? Most of his leaders were within four levels. We went to uh, uh, Mr. Carruthers. You know what we found out? Most of them were within four levels. Why wouldn't I do that? Once I found out, why wouldn't I do it? See, you get lulled into a false sense of security when you recruit this guy, and this guy says, man, I'm going to tear this up. This is it. I've been praying for this. Oh, my goodness, I'm going to jack this up. I'm going to blow it out. I'm going to lower it down. I'm going to tear it up. I'm going to wear it out. And you believe that. But there's an 80% chance he's going to quit. So if I know he's going to quit, what should I do? I'm going to find out who he knows before he knows. <laughs> All right? How many of y'all got something out of that? Good deal. Let's get on. So, the law says, the law says, you have to drive four levels deep and you will find your leader. <laughs> In fact, there's a, there's a natural law, and there's a law in network marketing, not just in prepaid legal, but in the industry as a whole. Here's what it says. If you go four levels deep, 80% of the time, you will find the real leader. I do it every time. Most of you guys have found your leader. You know why? You know, Because you stop at the first level. You think you got the one. You think you got the real deal. You think you got the wherewithal, but there's an 80% chance you don't. If I know that, then I'm going to conduct my business around that. So I don't stop at the first level. Because I know if I go four levels, there's an 80% chance I'm going to get the real deal. That make sense? Mm -hmm. Almost all of my leaders are within four levels of me. If I stopped at the first level, most of my income would have stopped. Are you with me? Yeah. So you drive four levels deep. Everyone you know or meet is a leader or a link to a leader. Everyone you know or everyone you meet is either a leader or a link to a leader. All you got to do is find out which one. Now, each, with each new recruit, be prepared to tap root four levels to find your leader. So many people just stop at the first level. And there was a superstar on somebody's list that would have taken you to the fourth level. And you didn't go there because you stopped at the first level. How many of y'all are guilty of that? How many of y'all are going to change that? leaders that have been uncovered, even from their market. You have to do it. Are you with me? Number five, and this is the last number. But I need to warn you, this is a very powerful number right here. Number five is killer. Killer! <clears throat> with number five, this is the secret to endless memberships right here. Endless memberships, never an end. Number five, this number holds the secret to effortless recruiting. Recruiting without effort, all across the United States and Canada. Number five. How many of y'all want to know what it is? Yeah. yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. No, y'all don't understand. Number five is a number that makes Players Club possible for you every single month. Every single month. Never out of Players Club team because of number five. Y'all want to know what it is? Yes. No, y'all don't understand. <laughs> this number is the secret to rebuilding your team whenever you wish, effortlessly. Number five. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Here's the secret. Here's the secret. Y'all want to know what it is? Oh, man, it is so simple. It is so ridiculously simple. But nobody does it. 
This is how I play a club 10 every single one. This is why I'm one of the top recruiters in the company. This, this is why I make six figures a year without working hard. Do you all understand last year I made six figures and I only wrote 40 memberships the whole year? <laughs> I was looking back at my business. I only wrote 40 memberships the whole year in 12 months. That's three memberships a month. Six figures. How much is that for a membership? <laughs> really? Three thousand. Three three thousand. Three thousand dollars per membership. That must have been a golden pen, right? right <laughs> you understand? Does this what I'm fixing to share with you is what made that possible? Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm afraid to show it to you because most of you won't do it. I'm, I'm giving you the secret to untold wealth, the secret to end this membership, the secret to end this recruiting, and once I show you, most of you won't do it. Can you explain that? I don't understand. People don't make sense to me. I'm, I'm giving you the key to wealth right here, and you won't do it. If you promise me that you'll do it, I'll show it to you. So, <laughs> Can you promise? Y'all ready? You ready for it? Yeah. No, y'all don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> this number five is the reason that I'm a I'm a hero to my wife. Okay? This makes me a champion, okay? Y'all wanna see it? Yeah. Yes. Come on. Okay, here it is right here. I was in Chicago. <laughs> I was in Chicago, Illinois, in the Super Region. There were 3,000 people in the room. And they brought me up to speak a little bit. And I told them, I was about to tell them the secret. And I went through this routine right here. And after about the third deal, out of 3,000 people, a lady jumped up out of the audience and ran to the stage with a notepad. And she said, Mr. Sturgis, please tell me what it is. <laughs> And 3,000 people just went crazy. <laughs> y'all ready for it? Yeah. No, y'all don't want to talk. Let's go. Okay, I'm going to show y'all. I might get beat up. <laughs> yes, please tell me you'll do it when I show you. Will you please? It is so simple. Here it is. Ask for five referrals after every membership sale. Oh, my goodness. Just ask for five. Every time you make a sale, ask for five referrals. You know what I found out? If you ask for five referrals, they'll give them to you. You'll never, ever, ever have to work cold market again. Ever. Players 1210, guaranteed every month. Top recruiter, every month. You, you understand, I don't have to door knock, I ain't got to go look for nobody. When every, every sale that I make, I get five referrals from every sale. If I sell you a membership, whether you come to the business or not, I'm going to get five referrals. I sell one membership, get five referrals. Some membership, sometimes they'll give me 10. Sometimes they'll give me 15. I just ask for five. She comes back with 15. Incredible. You all get it? Yes, sir. I need to show you. This gives you an endless supply of memberships, an endless supply of prospects. You can never, ever run out. Never. I got more referrals than I could possibly work in my lifetime. Because, I mean, look, I just got fired from him, and I started working that list, and I sold three of those <coughs> of his five. And I got five more from each one of those. Now I got 15. I had not been able to finish the first ones that I got. <coughs> and I deal with him, I got more. I deal with him, I got more. I deal with her, I got more. I deal with her, I got more. I can't possibly get to all those people. They're just sitting there waiting on me. I got a file so large that it will take me years, years, years to get to them. But when I got to them, I got piles more to get to. Do y'all get this? Yes. Do you want to work hard or do you want to work smart? Smart. smart. This gives you an endless supply.
identify a Walmart and Associates. You'll never have to work call market again. But some of y'all need me to get visual. So here's what it looks like. I want you to see it. Y'all ready to see it? Yeah. Look at this. Right here. I went out and made a sale. And after that sale, I asked for five referrals. There are the five referrals right there. Now, from I only you're not gonna get all of them. Let's assume that you miss uh, three out of two out of five. You're not able to convert two out of five. So out of the five that I got there, I went, I worked those five, and out of three of those, I got five apiece. See, you get five referrals from only three of each five. That's reasonable, right? Now, so what I did is I went out there and I made the sale right here. That's the person I talked to, one sale, and I got five referrals. And only five, only three out of those five gave me referrals. Y'all see that? Now, at the next level, those five produced 15 each. Because again, I still only got three out of five. <coughs> That's the next level. Now, the next rotation, I got 45 now from that because I'm still only getting three out of five. How many referrals am I asking for? Five. five. And then once I get to five, how many of those do I convert to five? Three. Anybody in this room can do that. All you got to do is ask for it. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. But look at it. I want you to see it. Now, at the next level, I, I just continue to get three out of five. The next level, I got 135 across. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. And then another rotation, once I get through all of those, now I got a total of six rotations. How many referrals do I have from six rotations? Just five of these. Look at this. The first level, first rotation I got 15. The second rotation I got 45. The third rotation, fourth rotation I got 135. The next rotation I got 400. How are you going to work 405 referrals? What if you had 405 referrals? Do you think you could be Players Club 10? Yeah. <laughs> Are you with me? Mm -hmm. But we're not even through yet. By the time I get down to one, two, three, four, by the time I've done that one, two, three, four, five times, I got 1,250 referrals. Never have to work cold market again. Never have to knock on anybody's door. Never have to go see anybody that doesn't even know I'm coming. Never. <laughs> Let me tell you something. This training today is worth a million dollars. The information you guys are getting today is killer. It might take you 30 years to learn that. It took me 30 years to learn it. You glad you can't watch it. You can't hold it standing. <laughs> Does this thing make sense to you, man? Yes, sir. <clears throat> it is a sin in prepaid legal to have a director's contract and not be players club 10 every month. It's almost sin. My time is going so fast. Y'all getting anything out of this? Yeah. Yes. Look at this. <laughs> if you personally do five apps a month, this makes you Players Club 10 qualified. This allows you to lead your team by example. You make a comfortable monthly income each month, irrespective of what your team is or is not doing. You get a car bonus after 12 months, 300. The first year, uh, after the first year, 400 a month after the second year, 500 a month after the third year, and after eight years of prepaid legal, my wife is getting a $500 a month check every single year. After 12 months, that check was $300 a month. After 24 months, it's $400 a month. After 36 months, and ever since now, she gets a $500 a month check on the side. And when that check comes in, even though it's got my name on it, I give it to my wife. So this is your money. Do with it what you want. 
do, go get your hair done, get your nails done, go buy incidentals, do something for the grandkids, whatever you want, every single month. That's why I'm her champion. She doesn't know anybody else whose husband say, here's $500 a month, do what you want with it. I'm the only one. <laughs> she ain't going to ever leave me. <laughs> <laughs> she is so pretty, though. I told her, if you ever leave me, I'm going with you. <laughs> <laughs>
me show you something. This is incredible. At the junior associate level, because you can't stay there very long, but at the junior associate level, you make uh, $34.57 if you were able to stay there, which you can, because this is going to be ridiculous anyway. I was going to show you what, what you what you make, because you can't stay at the junior associate level. You'd be making more than that. But this is the this is the bottom. This is the worst. If you stayed there, five apps would make you $345 a month, which is $4,100.20 cents a year. Uh, that's approximately, if you add that up, $4,100 divided by 52, which is weeks per year, and divide that by 40 hours, that's another $2 an hour that you're making on your full-time job. Equivalent. If you just get five hours a month, that's equivalent to making, you know, $2 an hour raise on your job, 40 hours a week. That incredible? Oh my goodness. Look at this. At the associate level, and you can't stay there very long, so this is ridiculous, really. But at the associate level, <clears throat> five hours a month is going to pay you about $517. That's $6,200 a year. That's approximately $3 an hour raise on your full time job. Add that up. If you added that up, $6,200 divided by 52, divide that by 40, 40 hours a week, that's an extra $3 an hour on your job. All you did was five hours at the associate level. Are you with me? Yes. Now, I mean, if you're at the associate level, what if you don't have a team? No team, and you're still making six to two hundred dollars a year. Huh. Actually, <coughs> at the associate, senior associate level, you make six hundred ninety dollars per uh, month off of five apps. That's $8,280 a year. That's approximately, if you divided that up, I guarantee you, that's $4 an hour raise on your job. That's why sometimes when I'm prospecting, uh, I ask people, who do you know? If they're not answered, I ask them, who do you know? <coughs> who do you know that want to make an extra $1,000 a month? Who do you know that needs some big raise on their job but not going to get it? Who do you know? Then I show them what you can make here. $4 an hour. At the manager level, manager level, you make $860 off of five apps. That's $10,000 a year. Where else are you going to make $10,000 a year? For just a few hours a day, a week actually. At the director level, at the director level, you make, off of five apps, you make $1,035. That's an extra $12,000 a year. That's $6 an hour equivalent raised on your full-time job. Yeah. But now, let me, let me ask, let me tell you what you make if you had a ragtag team, semi-committed team, barely committed, just do a few sales a month. Would you like to see that? Yeah. Five apps a month. It generates a very significant override, even a small thing. <clears throat> Just 25 overrides a month. 25 overrides a month. Here's what would happen. You add in the overrides. You got the, uh, the associate level here, five hours a month, $517. Uh, 25 overrides uh, off your team, 800, that's another $864. That's $1,382 a month. At the junior associate level, if you override, Senior social level, if you override 25 overrides, you got $690 a month that you're making off of your five apps. Uh, another $1,720 in overrides, that's $2,400 a month. You're part time, spare time, just working a few hours a week. You got a, a, a small team of other people that's just working a few hours a week, and you're taking home an extra $2,400 a month. What is minimum wage? Right now. Six or seven dollars now? How much? Seven twenty-five. Let's just say it's seven dollars. Somebody figure this out for me. Seven dollars an hour times forty hours a week. Two eighty times fifty-two weeks a year. How much money is that? Fourteen five six. Fourteen five fifty. How much a month is that? It's like twelve hundred a month. Twelve hundred, thirteen hundred a month. Thirteen hundred dollars a month. 
40, 40 hours a week, minimum wage, is what, $1,400 a month? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're saying? $1,300 a month. You're making almost twice that. Am I right? You mean you make it with somebody that's working minimum wage, make 40 hours a week, full time a year, and you're making $2,400 and they're only making $1,300? How many override? How many sales on your entire team are you override? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. You know how many sales on my team monthly? Typically somewhere between uh, 300, 400 sometimes, as many as uh, 900 some odd uh, memberships a month. You just got 25 overrides. At what level? The senior associate level, and you make $2,400 extra. At the manager level, you make $860 off of what? Off of your five apps. See, here's the total, the total basis for your system is you make Five apps a month, no matter what your team is doing. It doesn't matter what your team is doing. 